Here we have the natural log of x divided by 4x dx. Now I hope you guys can realize that this problem cannot be solved using the basic method. So we need to integrate this problem using u substitution. Now I rewrote the function for you as 1 over 4x multiplied by the natural log of x dx because this is going to make it a lot easier for us when we take our du. So let's move on to step number one. Pick u. As you can see, I picked my u as a natural log of x, and I put blue boxes around it uh, to make it a little easier for you to see. Now, the reason why I picked the natural log of x is because when we take our du, our derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. And you notice, uh, in our integral, we have a 1 over x term. So that's why I picked my u as a natural log of x. So let's take our du. So once again, our du is 1 over x dx. So now you can see why I picked my u as the natural log of x, uh, because the derivative of u is 1 over x dx, and we have a 1 over x dx in our integral. Now don't worry about the 1 over 4 being in the integral, because that's just a constant, and constants don't cause any problems. So let's move on to step number two. Let's make our du equal to what's inside the integral. As you can see, we have a 1 over 4x dx inside our integral, and we have a 1 over x dx in our du. So in order to solve that, I'm just going to multiply both sides of the equation by 1 over 4. So now if we simplify the equation, on the left side we get a 1 over 4 du, and on the right side we get a 1 over 4x dx. Now, as you can see, we have made our du equation exactly the same as everything that's inside our integral that is not u. So now let's move on to step number three. Now we need to replace the integral with our u terms. Now, I hope you remember from the beginning that we picked our u as the natural log of x, so I'm going to rewrite the natural log of x as u. And I hope you remember from our du equation uh, that 1 over 4x dx uh, is equal to 1 over 4 du. So I'm going to replace the 1 over 4x dx as 1 over 4 du. Now we move on to step number four. And before you integrate, always pull out your constant. Now we can integrate the function. I'm just going to pull down my 1 over 4. And after we integrate, our u becomes u squared. And you always divide by the same. And never forget about your c. Now doing basic algebra, you can see that this equation can be simplified to 1 over 8 u squared plus c. And finally, on to our last step, we need to replace our u with our x terms. Now, if you remember from the beginning of the problem, I picked my u to be the natural log of x. So I'm going to replace u squared with the natural log of x squared. And that is our final answer. I hope this video has helped you understand u substitution a little bit better. Um, it's a little complicated at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. If you like the way I teach and my videos, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, too, if you would like to schedule a live online meeting where you can get live help from me, please email me at chris at mathmeeting.com. So once again, enjoy my videos and take care.